first time that I saw your brown eyes. Your lips said hello and I said hi. I knew right then you were the one. But I was caught up in physical attraction. Ah, what up? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are back. We're back with another reaction slash breakdown. Someone commented on one of my videos. I, I need to label my video properly because this is a breakdown and not a reaction. Technically, every time I go, ooh, ah, e, or one of those, that's a reaction. And then I happen to break it down afterwards. You're welcome. You're getting two for one special right here. But anyway, we're here breaking down another one. We're breaking down Lupe Fiasco off of Drogas Wave. The one that we're gonna break down today is Wave Files. Just a little background to the story. The album has a loose structure for the first half, which is around four slaves who had jumped off of a slave ship while being transported to America. Instead of dying, these four slaves, they sank to the bottom of the ocean and they lived there. Greater four Forces had allowed them to survive down in the depths of the ocean. They joined a group called the Long Chains, which was a group that would go about taking down slave ships. And this song is about after the jump, getting to the bottom, and then it basically talking to Mother Earth and saying, how could you let these people do this to us? Let's talk about the album cover real quick. It's very abstract and I, I'm, I'm about it. It looks like the top half uh, is obviously the sky, at least in my eyes, intersected with a line and then the bottom half and then the bottom half, I take it as the ocean. Those two things that are like this, technically like horseshoes, those are pieces of manila, which back then were cast and traded for slaves as like a precious metal. But also the manila, you, I personally saw them as four heads, the four heads of the four black slaves that jumped off of the ship and survived in the waters. The way he uses his double and triple entendres, that's what I'm seeing just in the artwork of the album cover. So I thought that was tight. Let's go ahead and jump into the song and we're gonna go ahead and get this going. See, now he's talking about, I feel like he's talking about himself right here. The whole song is like literally the story that he's trying to tell, but it also seems just out of those four, first couple of bars, like a metaphor for his career with Atlantic. This is the Long Chains. The Long Chains were, are the group that lives under the, uh, lives under the waters and brings slave ships down and help, and help slaves that escape find their route back home if that's what they wish to do. The Long Chains are saying, wade with us, like, like wait in the waters, baptize and convert to the waves with us. And I think this is about him. I can never be a slave. They don't have to pay me. Like he can never be a slave with a 360 deal, which is what they tried to put him on, which is a very bad contract for most rappers and most artists. Most artists make their money not on the actual record deal itself, but on the profits that come from touring, on merchandise, on, on ticket sales, things like that. 360 deals, if I'm not mistaken, it gives the record company a cut out of all of that, not just out of the record sales themselves. It gives the artist a lot less control over their careers. So already the song starting off has got multiple meanings. Down on the battle titles like Jay-Z, that's a roll off shore like an AP DV. Jones like a own top of those hoppers off the side of the ship. Suicide didn't die from the dip. So mm, God. The story he's telling, downloaded by the titles like Jay-Z. He's saying the waters took these slaves under. Tidal is the streaming platform that Jay-Z owns, so downloaded by the titles like a J like Jay-Z. That's a roll offshore, so offshores, like an AP, Audemars Piguet. I think that's how it's pronounced, Audemars Piguet. Davy Jones Locker on top of those hoppers off the side of the ship. Davy Jones Locker's on top of them. Davy Jones Locker is at the bottom of the ocean. That's at least the, the mythological location of Davy Jones Locker and it's on top of the hoppers off the side of the ship. The hoppers off the side of the ship being the four slaves that jumped off to their suicide, but they didn't die from the dip. The visuals that Lupe Fiasco brings to his songs, his storytelling ability, and his ability to author a song that gives you such detailed visuals that you can actually see what's happening. That's one of the reasons I love this dude. Submarine man, keep your eyes on the blitz. Sonar, mm. on location, know where we are facing. Get back to our nation, hola. Mm. Submarine man, keep your eye on the blips, and then he uses the blip sound from sonar location. Your eyes on the blips, sonar, echo oh. location. So we're walking back to Africa, and I found a detour to the seashore. Yes, jumped off the deck to leave footsteps on the depths of the sea floor. Yeah. Mm. So we walking back to Africa, because like I said, the, the long chains 
help slaves that want to get back to Africa. They help them do it underwater so as to not be detected. Jumped off the side of the deck to leave footsteps on the depths of the sea floor. Not only the four slaves in the story, but him as an artist who jumped off the side of the deck, commit career suicide by jumping off the side of a major label, jumping off the boat, and he ended up leaving footsteps on the depths of the sea floor meaning that he survived his jump off of Atlantic. So I guess you could say that we're the long change. We're the ones that are keeping him afloat because we're the fans that are still getting his stuff. Mm. Walking on water to my feet just like Jesus Christ. Sick. Dive with us, vibe with us. Uh, man, the storytelling is so good, and the remorse that you feel from listening to the song, and the and the emotions that you feel. See salty because it cried with us when we looked it in the eyes and said, like, how could you help her? This is the slaves talking to Mother Nature, like, how could you help these people? The slaves are saying that they helped them because the seas helped them get across the ocean. To cry with us when we looked it in the eyes. Like, how could you help her? Beside apologize and said that I'm sorry with shelter. Y'all can live down here forever. Drowning is severed from all your lungs and the lungs of your sons to your daughters. The water's a treasure. Ah, it's, it's so sick. These four slaves jumped off the side and the ocean took them in and didn't let them kill themselves. The sea's salty because it cried with us. Like, this, the ocean is so sorry for what it did that it cried all the salt that's in the ocean. Poseidon apologized and said that I'm sorry with shelter. Y'all can live down here forever. Hopefully you can forgive us for this. Drowning is severed from all of your lungs and the lungs of your sons. Tell your daughters the water's a treasure. Mother Nature is allowing them to survive down there and literally saying that, that they won't drown. It's severed. Like the, the chances of drowning are severed from their lungs. Summon the forest, talk in the trees Like how could you be in the chorus With something so horrid You became boards for the floors And the doors of the warships Anthropomorphic mm. The forest returned with a match Made from itself and said burn us with that Then left again and came back with that axe We can serve you as furniture Furnace us blackie yeah. Then the slaves, the same thing that they did with the ocean Like asking like how could you condemn us in this manner Summon the forest, talking to the trees Like how could you be in the chorus How could you play such a pivotal role just like the chorus does in a song you became boards for the floors and the doors of the warship and then anthropomorphic probably the first time anybody's ever said that in a rap to give like a human like quality and that's what Lupe Fiasco is doing in these songs and the forest returned with a match made from itself and said burn us with that the forest and the trees are so regretful of the of the things that they've allowed to happen and he's saying here take us we'll act as a martyr so that way this never happens burn us with that we can serve as your furnish or furnace us black. You can make furniture, you can live with our bodies, or you can use us for keeping yourself warm. The thing that I love about this song, and it's not just, the story is obviously amazing. It's not just that. That by itself is extremely compelling and, and such. I can't, I, don't, I can't even have words to describe how I feel about the story sometimes. But it's the fact that in the story, Mother Nature is helpless to what the humans are doing to it. It's like it's the death of the innocence of Mother Nature. It's the human mind that took Mother Nature and conformed it into this evil plan that it had. That's like such a crazy storyline to me. That's such a crazy concept. Yeah, shit wreck with us. Grab vessels, bring them down to the depths with us. Take a hold of the bow with the Jesus. And then bring them to Ryan Sanderson. And the Amistad and the Henry of London. Tavern and Slam. Hannibal of London, Jeffrey Little this whole verse is crazy now it's back to the long chains which are the group underwater talking to these four slaves saying shipwreck with us grab vessels bring them down to the depths with us because in this in this album concept the long chains are beings that live underwater and pull down slave ships and they're the reasons for the crashing of the slave ships and then the whole verse number three is just listing off different names of slave ships that are in known history. Take a hold of the bow of the Jesus, which was one of the first slave ships, and the Brigantine Sanderson, La Amistad, and then he just keeps going and going and going. The Comet, Alabama, the Wanderer, Willemsbury, and the Liverpool, Marquis O'Grady, Hannibal of London, Jeffrey, Little Fleet, Mediterranean, the Mercy, the Envy, the Little Napoleon, the Brooks. The Brooks was one of the first slave ships that we, that we had a plan and a layout for that we saw 
on paper and brought to the public eye the horrific conditions. And then the Lord Ligonier started out with the Jesus, which was the first slave ship, and ended with the Lord. Yeah. Uh, rise with us from other sevens to the heavens and the skies in us. Conversations with the constellations. Why you navigate the haters? Black bitty alligator betas. Supposed to do greater. Well, all from out the sevens to the heavens and the skies in us. From out the, from out the depths of the ocean, the seven seas to the heavens. Conversations with the constellations while the constellations navigate the haters. Even though these four had jumped off of the ship, the ship was still going. Slaves were still being transported. And then he says, that navigate the haters, black baby alligator baiters. That line right there took me by surprise big time because it's a very little talked about subject i feel like it said that these slave ships used the children of these slaves literally used them as bait for alligators so that way they could catch alligators and then you know i guess use the alligators for whatever they needed food or what have you black baby alligator betas supposed to do greater with all of your alphas and betas mm. and minors and majors you were so busy just trying to shine been trying to save us. Said excuse Yo, the way these slaves are talking in this song, it's just crazy. Like, like, why are you condemning us to this fate? You're supposed to do greater. You as the constellations are supposed to do greater than falling into just solely navigating these, these evil people with all of your alphas and betas. Alpha is the brightest star in a constellation. Beta, I believe, is the second brightest. You were so busy just trying to shine. You were trying to do your own thing. You should have been trying to save us. Star said, excuse our behavior. We will be indebted to you for all of eternity if you counseled your heart and forgave us. We'll be indebted to you for all of eternity if you can find it in your heart to forgive us. Remove all our favors from children to sailors and slavers. Repay you what mm. is, but here in the heavens where harvest is greater. Mm. Remember of inheritance, pardon our arrogance. Those with Americans, got them to places much safer. Hey. 40 acres and a mule to play off of those off of that term repay you with acres but here in the heavens where harvest is greater because your soul will be saved at that point a meager inheritance and pardon our arrogance i know it's not enough to repay back but pardon our arrogance and we're also gonna align with the slaves that are already in america those with americans and guide them to places much safer a lot of slaves escaped from being slaves in the americas by using the stars to navigate in the same way that stars were used to bring them to slavery the line that gets me every time you were so busy just trying to shine you should have been trying to save us it's such an intense song i love it like the feel of the song is crazy like it's it's almost a song where it's almost like you hear a relationship as if a love between one person and another and then the other person cheated or committed infidelity or what have you and did them wrong this person is like coming to them like, how could you do this to me? How could you do this to us? The person is trying and doing everything that they can to repay and forgive and ask for forgiveness. It's these people that were treated badly asking like, asking mother nature who has no say in what happens to it, how could you condemn us in this fashion? It's such a compelling concept not to seek answers from the people who are committing these atrocious acts on you. All she can do is just apologize because she has no say in what she does Man, it's such a sick song, and I hope this helped break down that song for you. Anyway, thank y'all guys for, you know, watching this video. I hope y'all appreciated the breakdown and my thoughts toward this song, because this song is one of the more powerful ones on the album, in my personal opinion. I'll probably break down more of this album. I'm probably going to also break down some of uh, Logic's new album, because that shit just dropped too. Like I always say, thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, and comment. Try to get this algorithm catching me, you know? Hope y'all guys have a great day, night, afternoon, lunch, dinner, breakfast, whenever you're watching, and see y'all in the next video.